you're doing a great job of contacting like my data. Week number five of the refinery. Uh, Monday morning, uh, this is I uh, already had two meetings. One was a potential client, the other one was with Ryan. <laughs> We are developing an ad campaign for One World Artisans, which is a business that Stacy and I are working on as part of Think, which is a, a business, uh, an artisan, what do, you, what do you say, an artisan jewelry design business and custom art, art and jewelry made by refugees here in Utica. So we're trying to get this business off the ground, get income to refugees. And um, so we're starting an ad campaign to promote the business. Those with some sort of call to impact or call to action, I mean, um, work with us. I actually us really something. like that word and call to impact. I oh. like that a lot. Cause that's to me, like, let's like talk about like the preface to the call to action. Yeah. So many people forgot that. Yep. Cause like every, a lot of call to actions I have had this like a little blurb before it. Yeah. So I love that you like get that. And I totally just said that accidentally. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call to impact. I love it. It makes me think of like a Jack and Chan movie from the 90s. trying to think about being coherent in, in, in writing Twitterature, uh, you know, I will just talk into the phone for 30 seconds and then, and then whatever it is it is. Now there's a downside to that. So um, I think uh, Stacy was here the other day. I was leaving a voicemail for um, Bill Dustin. And were you here for this? No, but I see where this Oh is my God. I was leaving a voicemail the other day and uh, I was on speakerphone. And so the voicemail picks up and leave a message with beep beep. I go, hey Bill, this is Ryan Kama. I'm wondering if you can give me a call back, period. Uh, nothing important, comment. And then I go, holy shit, I'm so sorry. I totally thought this was voice dictation. So this is this long rambling message on his voicemail now. And he hasn't called me back. So I'm feeling a little bit bad about it, but I felt like an idiot. So that is the byproduct of, of using that. But if you're worried about the, the updates and you still want to get it in, just before you go to bed, just talk, just talk to us. Just talk to us. Thank you, period. You know, thank you, period. <laughs> Basically, Mark and I have reached all our goals where we're at. Nice. Um, but we also set up and Mike and leave. No, January first, we can drop it, and then he's going to use the month of January to hit that. Going into February, when we're going to do the grand opening at the office, and then explode. Cool. Hopefully, you've probably heard about the ping pong balls already. You. you. I have. Because yeah, Justin, Justin stole them on me and has used them a couple times. Doing things without expecting something in return. Like without a doubt, the the only reason that I'm sitting here doing this gig, or and the only reason I've had the last three jobs that I've had, yeah, is because I've built some built things or made connections without the expectation of something coming back to me. Yeah. And that is like as the formula that I think a lot of people don't understand. Like be nice to people, do good things, and like just the rest of it, you know, in in a lot of cases, just take care take care of itself. So. No. That's an easier answer that I'm comfortable no, with. I, I figured that would be. That was the actual yeah. question I asked. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, in that realm, is there any other ingredients that you think that may not be like the key, but like helped lead to the key? Or like steps you took to realizing? Like what made you realize that that uh, was important? Um, I think what made me realize it was working was that like, First of all, the, I don't know, like the, these little tangential comments or opportunities that sprung off along, like, I mean, obviously the, the, the one thing, the big thing that I think was a catalyst for me was the TED thing. I mean, that, that presented a, like a ridiculous amount of, a lot of opportunities. I mean, I don't know why it just did. Um, but I think the, the key ingredient is if I had to, if I had to pick a key ingredient, I think two key ingredients. Number one, um, make sure you deliver on what you say you're going to do. And honestly, like, I know this is, I'm not trying to like make things about video, but like document it. You know, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, does, any, does it, does it make a sound? I mean, like, I think do good stuff, but then share that experience with people. That's what I, I feel like is, has been like the key ingredient and find like, if you if you had to, if you could build a dream team of people like who would it be and then just go ask them. What else can we do for you? I guess would be a good question. Right. 
Um, or how else can we help or something like that. Awesome. This was productive. Yes. So, so I think that having a much more streamlined and kind of torn down mm -hmm. plan yep. is much better. We are measuring the flooring, or uh, the square footage, so we can order our flooring for the studio. Um, whoever invented the concept or whatever of gluing down carpet is a real jerk. That is like my new least favorite thing when it comes to construction. But the studio is coming along nicely. It definitely is gonna take a lot of work still, but the contractors started and materials and such are starting to roll in the door. I can't wait for this to come together and we're hoping for a February grand opening. This week had some crazy meetings, but nature of the beast, that's what happens. Spent a lot of time down at Thinkubator. We had some really good sound bites from Ryan on a couple different topics, period. And I really am looking forward to this coming week where we are going to be doing a bunch of stuff with refinery, but also we've got some job shadow kids coming from, I think Remsen or Poland high school. Uh, I love giving back to these kids and showing them what it's like to work in this type of field. So we'll probably do a little video while they're here, maybe an Insta story or something. Go follow me on Instagram at Simon Eisenbach. Uh, that way you can see what's going on throughout the week.